Hello everyone, today is Wednesday, August 15, 2018. Even though I'm in Delmarva, we gotta talk about some breaking MTA news that the media is probably gonna hide from you uh, up there in New York. And this is a very important story because this, of course, involves the MTA. And we gotta talk about this because thanks to our loyal viewer, Jason Anthony Pinero, he gave me this story last night from the Wall Street Journal about how the MTA is facing a financial crisis. And as I was just saying, the media in New York, Channel 2, Channel 7, all the outlets are going to hide this story from you. And I need to get it out there, otherwise we are going to not have the information available for everybody up there in New York. And uh, without further ado, I'm going to read this article. So pretty much says, Subway bus cuts loom as the MTA is facing a financial crisis. Some of the board members worry about the transit agency's plan for $562 million in cost and reductions that it hires more workers for the Subway Action Plan. So we'll go down, of course. Here's what it says. The MTA plans to stop expanding a bus rapid transit service, reducing bus fare evasion patrols, and cutting dozens of positions for subway cleaning as it seeks $562 million in cost reductions during the next few years. According to emails reviewed by the Wall Street Journal, some MTA board members are concerned that the authority is taking such cost-saving measures, even, if it, even as it hires more than 1,000 workers under a plan launched last year to improve subway service known as the Subway Action Plan. Of course, this was the plan launched by MTA Chairman Joe Loda. MTA board member Carl Weisbrod, an appointee of Mayor Bill de Blasio, wrote in an August 5th email to fellow board members and senior MTA officials, it's hard to escape the conclusion that we've given our hand to the subway action plan and we've take and we've taken the ways to extend through these service cuts. In an interview back on Monday, August 13th, MTA Chairman Joe Loder rejected assertions that the reductions are service cuts, calling such talk provocative and inaccurate. He says the moves are a redeployment of resources. Mr. Loder said any organization as large as the MTA must consistently reevaluate its deployment of resources. Not doing so would be malevolence. Mal I, I can't pronounce this word. I apologize, everyone. He also said that despite staff reductions in some areas, overall the MTA would increase headcount across the subway and bus systems by more than 700 positions in the next few years. The cost savings are laid out in the MTA's 521-page preliminary budget and financial plans, which was presented to the MTA board members back last month in July. MTA Chief Financial Officer, Robert Foran explained the board the broad outlines of cost savings at the time to the board. But the emails show that some board members took a closer look at the budget after the presentation and said Mr. Foran failed to highlight specific cuts that it would affect service. Veronica Vanderpool, another appointee of Mayor de Blasio, wrote in an August 3rd email that the MTA board relies on staff to flag important issues, the admission perpetuates a sentiment shared by many regarding the oppos opposity of some of the information we do receive. Mr. Loder defended Mr. Foran's presentation and said it would be transparent. So pretty much, uh, in other words, what this is trying to say is that uh, they're denying the budget cuts. That's what it sounds like. Okay, some of the budget Reductions didn't raise objections from board members. For example, the MTA expects to save $4 million annually by eliminating overtime payments to the NYPD for extra fare evasion patrols. The NYPD recently relaxes enforcement of fare beaters, opting to issue summonses instead of making arrests in most cases. Which, again, I have a problem with that. And we've seen more cases of fare jumping, and yet the police don't want to do anything about it because, remember... Those are de Blasio's cops. They're very much afraid to do their jobs. The expected expansion of bus rapid transit or a select bus service would have been a boon to people in the Bronx, Queens, and Brooklyn, especially living in so-called transit deserts. The MTA 
doesn't intend to add five new routes previously planned through 2021. While the authority reevaluates the entire bus network as part of a system-wide overall, according to an MTA spokesman. Well, again, I, this is what I don't understand: is that they can't figure out a way to get rid of the Q46 route in Glen Oaks. It's going to take some time, but they are doing a system. -wide the MTA believes it would save $28 million through 2022 by postponing the expansion, according to the preliminary budget. Officials estimate they could save a further $2.4 million annually by reducing staffing for fare beating patrols on select bus, uh, select bus service routes. On the subway, the MTA plans to save $8.4 million annually by reducing staffing for subway car cleaning at some terminals. In an August 3rd email to board members, Andy Byford, the president of New York City Transit, said he had made some tough choices, adding that the reductions are intended to be temporary in nature, while the necessary funding and revenue stream discussions are sought out. Since Mr. Byford arrived at the MTA in January, he has announced ambitious plans to overall and modernize mass transit. The MTA is a sprawling transit agency with a $17 billion budget that also runs two commuter railroads and nine bridges and tunnels. Passenger revenues are falling as an increasing of, of riders flee the subway and bus systems. During his J July presentation, Mr. Foran said even though with an anticipated fare and toll increase in Ma March of next year that would raise fare revenues by 4%, the authority will struggle to maintain a balanced budget within a couple of years. Now, Mr. Byford finds himself having to make staff reductions. His agency employs about 50,000 workers. All of the cuts, about 450 positions during the next 18 months, will be through attrition according to the preliminary budget. The suspension of new select bus service routes until 2021 is also a blow to Mayor de Blasio, who has championed the program. Service, which uses off-broad fare payment, all board door boarding, and dedicated bus lanes is faster and more reliable than regular buses. Ridership is growing according to the city's transportation department buckling a citywide trend of declining subway and bus ridership. A spokesman for the mayor, Eric Phillips, said in a statement, These secretive plans outline unacceptable delays in service improvements for hundreds of thousands of riders who depend on, on the SBS service every day. A spokesman for the MTA, John Weinstein, said in a statement, The MTA is committed to select bus service. It would be nice if the mayor showed that he cared about the millions of riders stuck in never-ending traffic on the streets by actually enforcing bus lanes and supporting a real solution for the liberating congestion, instead of just more in the same old empty rhetoric. So pretty much, I'm, I'm going to say this again, the MTA is denying this. They are denying this. And honestly... If they're going to keep denying this, well, I'll tell you who else is going to deny this. Our local news outlets in New York. And that's why I'm covering this. Because no one else will talk about it. They want to reduce service, and yet they keep saying, oh, we want to expand the MTA. We want to expand it. And yet, even though the fares are definitely going to go up in 2019... It's not just the subways and the buses. It's going to be the Long Island Railroad. It's going to be Metro North. It will happen. They're not going to be able to even fund their budget, even though they keep claiming they are going to raise our fares and our service is just going to keep getting bad. This is being held from you. The media doesn't want you to know about this information. And yet the Wall Street Journal is the only outlet that was able to obtain this information. This is why... I'm going to keep talking about this. If the media is going to keep hiding these stories, it's a shame on them. It really is for giving us necessary information about the MTA. And trust me, folks, next year is the rough of the storm when we have the fare hikes coming and when the L train's going to get shut down. It's coming. And I am hoping that I will be here to talk to you all about these issues. They need to be discussed the media will not tell you about this. I will, and other people will join me as well. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Until the next one, take care.